Good day! This is smartwatchspecifications.com, the premier site for smartwatch specs, news, and reviews. Okay, we are back again with the DT number 1, DT8 Ultra Smartwatch. And so far, we have some positive uh, reviews, positive comments on this wearable. And this time, okay, finally, we are going to test and try its health features. Okay, particularly the heart rate and the blood pressure monitor. So if you have any questions regarding the demo, just drop a comment below and we'll try to answer your queries if we do have that time. Okay, so our medical grade Omron device is ready here. Okay, and we have of course the smartwatch. Okay, so... We can be sure that it's not just a random monitoring of the heart rate here as well as the blood pressure as when you try to monitor your HR without wearing it see as you can see here it will uh, notify you that you have to wear it properly okay so meaning it is able to detect okay the sensor okay whether you are wearing the smartwatch or not okay so as you can see here so let's try first okay our heart rate and blood pressure with a omron medical grade all oh, i'm already wearing okay the airbag here okay so all is set so let's try then after that we are going to try the smartwatch here the blood pressure as well as the heart rate okay so we'll see whether this close to being accurate or not okay so it is now monitoring our okay diastolic and systolic as well as our pulse with the omron medical grade device i am pretty sure you are inter interested on the results of this as a lot of wearables, especially for the clone wearables, do have a fixed sensor. So we have a very high heart rate here, or just a high heart rate. Okay, but we have 115 over 85. Okay, we're still in the normal range, I think. So let's check. Okay. Let's go first with the heart rate. Okay, later on, if you still have the time, we're going to have a simultaneous monitoring. So you can see if we do have a good results or close results to each other. The Omron and the smartwatch. Okay. So it's, as you can see, it's far. But I guess I already have the at least a minute of rest. So we'll check in again later on. Okay, it's now climbing. I expect my heart rate right now to be around 85 something. So we have here 78. So our results here is 91. Okay. We'll check later on on the simultaneous heart rate monitoring. So we have the BP. Okay. I will check again later on, as I have said, whether we do have an okay result or a disappointing result. So it seems like we do have a good results here. 
So, 115 over 82. We'll take a minute of rest. Then, we will try to monitor again our heart rate. So 127 over 82 and let's see our result here. 115 over 85. So the bottom part is much closer. So let's set it up again. Okay. I'm going to wear it properly here. Or at least. Okay. We'll make it closer to our our pulse here okay, this is not the proper way I mean wearing your smartwatch but to have a much uh, reliable result let's make it much closer to our pulse okay, it's hard to monitor our heart rate or blood pressure with a awkward okay, position of our hand Okay, let's have a rest first and we'll try to get the results. Okay, so let's start. Okay, I'm going to start it here first. The heart rate. Okay, and I will start it here. So, 81. So, we have 75. Okay, it's just an okay result. Okay, so it's almost close to the actual result here. Just a few okay, points. And we'll have it another time. Another monitor. I uh, will adjust it first. So we have here the blood pressure 124 over 80 and 123 over 79. Okay, so that's it. We do have we do have one twenty one over seventy eight for the blood pressure, as you can see here from the result. Okay, again. So can we have the chart? So one twenty three over seventy eight. Okay, average here. Then we have here one twenty three over seventy nine. So it's almost the same. Okay, with the blood pressure and just a few points with the heart rate monitoring okay so so far it works okay and seems like we do have a good results here closer to the medical grade device okay i'm impressed with the results here for the dt8 ultra smartwatch okay okay so let's have another one okay do we have the HR and we have the Omron here activated? Okay, let's wait for the results. 
so far we do have the in the 80 range here for the heart rate we have 84 and we have 87 88 we have 87 here so as you can see it in just a few points okay difference so that is a very good results already so, and we have 122 over 89 okay let's check it again for the uh, blood pressure again we have an okay or a good results in the blood uh, in the heart rate previously we do have an excellent result or closer results with the blood pressure okay 122 over 79 so there's the difference in the uh bottom part the systolic or the diastolic i think let's check let's see the average here so 123 over 79 but with our upper part here seems like we do have all an almost exact result so far we do have a and okay or a good result okay for the blood pressure monitoring as well as the heart rate okay sometimes it change okay in just a few seconds but as you can see here it's not really that far with our smartwatch with the results of the omron but still whether you have a an exact result okay still your uh the re the data that you gathered is for reference only and not for ba the basis of diagnosis okay again this is smartwatchspecifications.com okay the premier site for smartwatch specs news and reviews bye